again. Like we said the last time, today we are going to talk about this button. Okay, let's start with these ones. Because these ones, you can use it only in case you're moving it on the main road. And you can add blinkers on the sides there and there and behind and this is like the car you know what is the light the blinkers left and right and this is the like i'm calling it the parking button this one it's the horn and this one high beam this one low beam then we have this three and these three are the wipers as you can see it's left right and the front one this one it's this one then the right one and the left one then these ones are the lights you push and hold and lights push and hold lights lights all over then this one this one you can kind of uh, take the air out from the hydraulic tank you know when you change a uh, hose or something it's gonna suck all the oil back okay this one when we are going to change the gear from here from low to high see now we need to put it on neutral we touch this one now it's on the turtle and now it's on the rabbit and then right now on the rabbit only the front wheels are going to work so to put on the back wheels you just need to push and hold this one and it's appearing here now all the wheels are working on the rabbit the high speed but that's only when you're driving on the main road mostly empty mostly then we can put it back then this one this one is for the camera for the camera view you push it once you have this view behind the cabin it one more time you have this view then we have this one over here this one if I push and hold is going to change for IBC mode unloading activating push and hold one more time this is IBC mode loading then this one this one is the cooling fan in front of the engine when you push this one push it once then it's going to activate the cooling fan like this it's just going to clean in front then this and this mainly use it for the computer and this one is doing exactly what it's saying and this one the same then this one it's a pretty important one on John Deere for others especially because this one it's locking and unlocking the rake frame meaning the frame between the tractor and the loading space as you can see here now it's locked and when you touch the gas it's going to be unlocked that means the, the tractor and the loading space, they are pretty much independent. But when you're loading, 
they need to be together so you don't flip over and this board button what this button is doing this is unlocking that brake or locking it depending for example if you change a wheel you can unlock the brake instead of pushing the gas you can unlock it from here then we have this one these two are for the cabin the meaning that this one if you push and hold you can activate and disactivate the turning cabin put it on automatic on manual and this one this one you can activate and disactivate the leveling of the cabin so it looks like we finished with this part then this one this one is just the mouse for the computer then let's start maybe from left to right this one is the one that I'm using. If you push it once, the cabin is going straight back. Because if you remember from the last time, this one, if you push it, is going back in front. So whenever I'm going to start loading, I'm just gonna push this one and boom, the cabin is going back for uh, loading. Then this, I'm not using it are for other options for the loading space then here here for the speed because once you change it on turtle here you can see 65 percent but if you touch this one you get this and then if you touch this one it's going to go faster and if you touch this one, it's going to go lower. Then these ones, the ones that I'm using, it's only this. And this is to register, that's why it's coming register. And then push on 8 to register and close. And then they yeah, are pretty much shortcuts. It's zero, it's here, it's cancelled. Four. It's going up, seven down. They are pretty much shortcuts. This one's, it's also a shortcut, but can be also a shortcut for this. If you touch it once, then it's gonna set up the boom speed. Going up and down. Or you can use the mouse for it and scroll it's going to do the same thing then this one this one like I showed you earlier is the gearbox is changing between the rabbit and the turtle then these two they are the differential lock you need to stop the tractor but don't stop the engine and push and hold and here you have the differential lock meaning that all the wheels they are going to work like crazy in case you're getting stuck and once you get your feet out of the gas they will disactivate by themselves okay so this is pretty much everything about buttons please let me know if uh, if I missed something or if you know something some other combination that maybe I don't know or maybe I didn't talked about or maybe you have an option on your machine, an extra option. Just, just let me know. And till next time, take care and happy logging.